Hello and welcome. It's being described by some observers as a mini arms race. In the space of a few days, both North and South Korea have conducted a series of missile tests. Just 48 hours after testing a cruise missile, North Korea fired two ballistic devices into the direction of Japan, something the Prime Minister has described as outrageous. A short time later, South Korea conducted its own test, a planned launch of a ballistic missile from a submarine. Our correspondent Laura Bicker has more details for us from Seoul. Well, within just a few hours on this one Korean peninsula, we have two Koreas making two separate launches. First of all, that launch by North Korea. We understand it was a short-range ballistic missile. They flew around 800 uh, kilometers towards the Sea of Japan, also known as the East Sea here. These are ballistic weapons, so they are banned under UN Security Council resolutions. So there will be international condemnation. As opposed to South Korea's launch which came uh, from a submarine now interestingly uh, this is a, a missile that is capable of taking a nuclear weapon but South Korea does not have nuclear weapons this is a first uh, for South Korea and it will become one of only seven nations able to fire a missile from a submarine it comes as South Korea has increased its budget for defence in recent years. And they do say here in Seoul that it's to counter uh, what's happening in the north. But it also has an added meaning because here on the peninsula in South Korea, 28,000 US troops are based. And South Korea more or less relies on the United States for defence. And it's called the nuclear umbrella because the US covers this entire region um, as an ally and is there in terms of defence. But South Korea has shown increasing steps uh, that it wants to stand on its own two feet with this budget increase of seven percent it's just decided to build an aircraft carrier it's just uh, bought a whole bunch of jets so it got brand new military hardware and here i think what we have i think even though this is a planned launch having those t two missile launches on the same day within a few hours of one another just shows exactly what a mini arms race is going on on this korean peninsula right now